Jerusalem, best places to visit in Africa and the Middle East. Jerusalem is suspended between many different crosshairs. First and foremost, it serves as the holy city for the three primary Western religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. The narrow streets and alleyways that make up the labyrinth-like old city reverberate with the sounds of spirituality. Whispered Hebrew prayers uttered by tefillin-clad Jews at the Western Wall mingle with the hauntingly beautiful Muslim call to prayer sounding from Temple Mount. The voices from the Jewish and Muslim quarters are then accompanied by melodic bells sounding from the Christian Church of the Holy Sepulchre. For many visitors, the rumor of a constant almighty presence suddenly becomes very real, even the most adamant non-believer will find it hard to deny that there's something ethereal about Jerusalem. While the image of ancient Jerusalem a city still ruled by King David and his followers is what most travelers expect, you'll find instead a destination in flux. Beyond the historic walls of the old city lies a buzzing metropolis where traditional lifestyles collide with cosmopolitan developments. West Jerusalem is littered with trendy restaurants and bars, while East Jerusalem resonates with the cries of market vendors. The city's diverse offerings have transformed Jerusalem from a pilgrimage spot to a well-rounded vacation destination. So whatever your reason for visiting, you can be sure that this is a city you'll never forget. Getting Around Jerusalem The best ways to get around Jerusalem are on foot or by taxi. Many of the city's top attractions are within walking distance of one another inside or just beyond the old city walls. When you're looking to expand your stomping grounds, taxis are extremely convenient, albeit a little pricey. The transportation company, EGG, provides public bus service within the city and many points around the country. EGG also services Ben Gurion International Airport, TLV, about 38 miles northwest of Jerusalem on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. However, the bus system isn't intuitive for foreign visitors. Travelers usually will have better luck with the new light rail system, which opened in 2011. Best Things to Do in Jerusalem Jerusalem can be divided into three sections, the Old City, West Jerusalem, and East Jerusalem. Ancient stone walls encase the Old City. You can access the grounds via seven different gateways. Within these walls, you'll find the city's most prominent attractions, including the Western Wall, the Dome of the Rock, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Outside of the Old City, you'll discover Jerusalem's thriving yet laid-back metropolis. West Jerusalem buzzes with life, with much of the action centered on Jaffa Road and Ben Yehuda Street. Here, you'll find a variety of shops, restaurants, and bars. East Jerusalem is the hub of the city's Arab community. Not as modern as West Jerusalem, the east especially the areas right outside the old city's Damascus and Herod's gates brims with lively markets. Best Times to Visit Jerusalem The best times to visit Jerusalem are April through May and October through November, when the weather is mild and the crowds are thin. However, make sure to cross-check your travel dates with major Jewish celebrations such as the High Holy Days, Sukkot, and Passover. A strong surge of visitor traffic drives hotel prices up during these holidays. Summer is Jerusalem's peak tourism season, despite sweltering daytime temps. Winters boast good deals on hotels, but the weather remains fickle, one day can be sunny and fairly warm, while the next can be rainy and chilly.